Well, you shouldn't be so easily distracted. By now, you've seen our Tokyo Trip Part 1, where John P. and I showed you what it's like to experience ANA's inspiration of Japan's service. Now let's take a look at some of the things you see a lot of in Tokyo. Technology and Hello Kitty. This episode of Geeky TV is brought to you by Carbonite. I'm just gonna get right into it and start with the best elevator technology. Oh, oh shoot. Don't you hate when you hit the wrong button in the elevator? I want to go to one, not two, but in Japan it doesn't matter because all you have to do is tap twice and it cancels the call. It's normal here in Japan. Okay, that really got me excited, obviously. And then I found out that I could just shop for clothes out on the street. Hey guys, I'm gonna shop. I'm outside, it's freezing cold. I'm going to shop and do my hair, so let's check it out. I like those shoes. Bam. How about those shoes? Are those going to look good with this outfit? Nah, they're okay. I think I need a skirt or something to go along with it. Uh, I don't like those skirts. Hold on. I didn't really have much luck with that one, did I? <laughs> Not my kind of clothes, but the idea was cool. And to be fair, I think this was a special display instead of something that's on every street corner. Don't want to mislead you. But oh my gosh, the things that were on every corner? Phone cases. The amount of cases available everywhere. Oh, overwhelming. At least you know you won't have the same case as everyone else, though. Now, the weirdest kind of case I found was this. I've been taking a look at all the crazy phone cases here. Here's an iPhone case. A little rabbit it has ears, but not only ears. Turn it around. A little tail. Full on rabbit. But even better. How about this one? This is the back of your case. Now that's a full on rabbit phone case. After the video, John realized that the ears on that first case were actually meant for you to wrap your earbuds around, and I kind of liked it after that. <laughs> Clever and practical. Though when it came to rabbits, I really did not get this one. Smorkin' Labbits? I guess 40% of the country smokes, so maybe it makes sense? I don't know. Anyway, here's a peek at the coolest case I found. <laughs> this is me right there. <laughs> this is Shin, and uh, he's from JP Live TV. We've been uh, spending the day with you guys. Pretty long day. Pretty long day. We went to the fish market. All that video is soon to come, but I had to show you his iPhone case. Wait, not iPhone case? It's yes, an iPhone, iPhone case. case. Okay, at first it was attra I was attracted to it because it says keep out, you know, it's got all this tape on it. But then I figured out it's power. It's secret power. Show up. Here. Oh, here? Okay. You just take it, push it, and it sticks it's just to sticks. it. It's not a magnet. It sticks to anything. Oh, well, oh. the glass is better. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it almost sticks to everything. Almost. It almost what does. about this? Well, it, uh, has, yeah, to it like has to be like flat. Flat, yeah, flat glass or something like that, like a screen. That's amazing. And so it's not a magnet, but we don't know exactly what kind of material no. it is. <laughs> it's just awesome. amazing. Oh, oh, and on every street corner, a lot of Hello Kitty. And I mean a lot. There were Hello Kitty dolls, toys, more toys, bags, statues, even water bottles. At the request of a Google Plus follower, I was able to find one Snoopy doll in the midst of all the Hello Kitty. All right, moving on. From Hello Kitty to beer. I haven't seen any beer dispensers like this in the US, but I could be wrong. You guys will have to let me know since I don't know a thing about beer or follow it at all. But I do know that you're supposed to pour beer with a tilt. Hey folks, I'm at the lounge. We're gonna get a nice cold frosty beverage. Step one, get your ice cold glass. Step two, insert into beer machine. Step three, push the button. That's the way it's 
done. The one thing I noticed right away as soon as we sat down at a restaurant is that servers use technology ubiquitously. They all had this little tablet that they used to take orders and one restaurant had this call button, I guess you would call it. You'd push it when you were ready for someone to come take your order or ready for the bill or just needed a glass of water or whatever. It set off this ding, kind of like a doorbell and a nice server would come to take care of you. Kind of like we have in the States. All right, we're gonna take a quick break so you can soak in all this tech and give me a chance to thank today's sponsor. But when we come back and look at a very untechy tech. Oh my goodness, we took a ton of photos in Japan, a ton. I'd hate to lose them all because of some hard drive failure or fire or John spills orange juice on there or some other disaster. Carbonite online backup keeps your data away from your very human hands and habits and keeps it off site. So when you need to recover files, you can do just that. And you don't have to remember to do backups. It happens automatically and continuously without you even thinking about it. Start your free trial at carbonite.com with the offer code geekbeat. By doing that, you'll get two months free if you decide to buy carbonite.com offer code geekbeat and there isn't any reason you shouldn't buy. Okay, so I was walking in the subway station, something we did a lot. I was passing by people and observing everything, behavior, fashion, what they used, all of it. This caught my eye. In the wrap-up episode, I mentioned that they all use flip phones, but even flip phones use power and they don't want them to die. I just found it so odd, so basic. Two AA batteries? Instead of what we were all used to, a battery pack. Anyway. That's it for this round. More to come. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what kind of stuff you've seen in Japan or other countries or what you look forward to seeing the most when you visit yourself. Callie Lewis on Google Plus, at Callie Lewis on Twitter. Bye. Ah! <laughs> That'd be funny. But the idea, idea, the idea. Oh, oh, oh.